Today's Port Swigger tutorial is entitled Web Shell Upload via Extension Blacklist Bypass. To solve the lab, we must exfiltrate the contents of the file slash home slash carlos slash secret by using a basic PHP web shell. First, access the lab and log in as winner with the password Peter. We know that we are looking for a vulnerable image upload function. Let's try uploading an avatar image. We are redirected to the avatar page and it looks like our image has been uploaded. When clicking the Back to My Account link, we can see that a preview of the image is now available inside our account. Now go to Burp Proxy HTTP History and look for the slash my account slash avatar request. We also want to see the request that returns the contents of our uploaded image. For this, we need to go to the filter settings at the top of the requests list and click it. Here, we want to select images from the filter by mime type section and click apply and close. We can now see a get request for files slash avatars slash your image name, in my case minion.png. As you can see, this request returns the content of our image. Send this request to repeater as well. In repeater, try replacing the contents of your image with a basic PHP web shell. We are going to use the classic system command like with the previous labs. The code takes the value of the evil parameter from the URL and executes it on the server as a shell command. Send the request. The file has been uploaded. Let's go to the request that returns the content of our image file. As you can see, the server responds with the contents of our file, treating it as a PNG file, as evidenced by this content type header, image slash PNG. What we can do now is to try changing the way the server treats PNG files. Because of the server header in the response, we know that the website is running on an Apache server. Apache servers load a directory-specific configuration from a file called .htaccess if one is present. This htaccess file is used for configuring the current directory and all its subdirectories unless they have their own htaccess file. This means that we can try uploading an htaccess file that tells the server to treat all files as PHP files, causing it to execute our shell. In the Apache documentation, we can see this set handler directive. We learned that when placed into an htaccess file, this directive forces all matching files to be parsed through the handler given by the handler name. For example, if you had a directory you wanted to be parsed entirely as image map rule files, regardless of extension, you might put the following into an htaccess file in that directory. This is exactly what we want, but instead of image map, we want all files to be parsed as PHP, regardless of extension. This means we would write set handler, followed by the MIME type for PHP files, which we can find here. Keep in mind that this solution is quite destructive, since it will interfere with all the other users' avatars. In the real world, you should use a directive like this to configure a handler for a particular file extension that is unlikely to be used by other users, such as .xyz or .myevil extension. Let's go back to Burp and try to upload an htaccess file. In repeater, go to the request that uploads an avatar image and change the file name to .htaccess. The file should contain our set handler set to application slash x minus httpd minus php. When we send the request, we get a 200 OK response. The file has been uploaded. If the server is configured to accept htaccess files, it will process the htaccess file we've just uploaded, which will instruct the server to treat all files in this directory as php files. To confirm that this is the case, go back to the request that returns the contents of our avatar image. After sending the request, we can see that the PHP code is no longer visible in the response, so the server might be executing it. If you remember from the beginning of this video, the PHP code takes the value of the evil parameter from the URL and executes it on the server as a shell command. This means that we need to add an evil query parameter to the path, so question mark evil equals, followed by a system command such as who am I. It looks like the current user is Carlos. Now, we can simply exfiltrate the contents of the file we are interested in for solving the lab. cat slash home slash Carlos slash secret. We have found the secret. Copy it, go back to the lab and submit the answer. The lab is solved. This is it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye!